Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a comparison of Johnny Walker Black Label and Johnny Walker Double Black. Here we go, there they are. Um, now I've already done a review of Johnny Walker Black Label um, and I picked up this bottle of Double Black at the Duty Free uh, just today actually and I thought uh, why not compare them. Uh, now I've not actually tasted Johnny Walker Double Black yet um, so I thought that I would film myself tasting it for the first time so that I can be completely honest and completely blunt about what I think of it. Um, so as you may have noticed the bottle is slightly different. It's uh, obviously blacker than the uh, normal Johnny Walker Black Label bottle. Um, but label wise uh, not much of a big difference however there is one very significant difference that you see straight away with double black which is the sound it makes when you shake the bottle and initially I didn't know what it was but it became very clear after opening the screw top that what you actually have is a widget in the top it's fixed onto the bottle which is really cool because what it does it's basically uh, a little glass ball uh, inside a valve and what happens is when you tip the bottle the whiskey comes out kind of uh, in a way that it doesn't spill down the bottle or at least that's the idea because one of my big gripes with these big whiskey bottles is that when you're trying to pour some whiskey into a little glass like this it always dribbles down the side and it's really annoying. Um, so that's a really cool addition. I've not seen that on any other Johnny Walker bottles. Um, now as for the taste, which is obviously the most important thing, Johnny Walker Double Black is supposed to be this um, premium expression of, of the original Black Label. It's made in the same way as Black Label is made, but they've tried to make it bolder, more basically like Black Label but turned up a few notches um, and that involves increasing the smokiness, increasing the peatiness, making it basically a more intense experience of Black Label. Uh, price wise it's currently only available at the duty free although I've heard rumours that it's going to be on the high street at some point. Uh, for a litre it's about 30 quid, it's actually a bit under that so really good value, it's only a few pounds more expensive than Black Label uh, so it's definitely worth trying it if you're at the duty free um, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is pour, in fact no, I won't pour, pour any Black Label I'll recap my tasting notes from Black Label then I'll move on to Double Black, I'll pour a glass and see what I think So. From my previous review, uh, the gist of Black Label was basically this uh, really sweet, uh, toffee-ish, honeyed, spicy uh, blend, which comprised mainly of, well, the two main malts that are involved in the blend, which is Colila and Talisca. Really big, powerful malt whiskies, uh, single malts, obviously. Um, that come to the forefront in the uh, taste. Um, now, as for Double Black, I don't know how exactly they've gone about with the components, but I'm gl guessing that they've essentially just changed the balance of which which single malts they're putting into the blend. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get something to stand in front of my computer so you can see the glass and I'm going to show you what I mean by this little widget ball bearing thing so hopefully this will work I'm just going to tip it okay doesn't seem to be doing much well this is embarrassing Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. 
Oh, oh dear. This isn't going too well, is it? Well, it's a good job I never applied for a job at a bar. Because that was a failure. You never know, it might be a device to prevent alcoholics from pouring too much, you never know. So, on the nose, immediately you can tell the difference between black label and double black. It's very noticeable, even having not tasted black label for almost a month now. The nose is a lot, well, not different in the sense that it smells like a different whiskey. It smells like black label would smell, but just a lot more powerful. You have this immediate peatiness that you would expect from something like Laphroaig. This, this kind of fireside smell of burning wood and smoke and oak. Really welcoming, really nice. Now for the taste. Wow. That is a big, big step up from Black Label. Um, immediately uh, very full on very peaty um, it kind of arrives like a blend would in a classical sense that it's very strong it comes on um, quite harshly but that's quickly subdued by this really um, still creamy a lot smokier a lot less sweet um, and finish wise, the finish is kind of, it feels shorter, there's not this warm caramel toffee finish that you get with Black Label, it kind of leaves you with a very woody taste in your mouth, in, in a good way. Um, now marks wise, it's a difficult one. Um, I'm tempted because it's a bit more expensive and it's uh, it's marketed as this Dulux version of Black Label. I feel under some amount of pressure to give it a higher rating than Black Label, maybe 88 or 89. Um, but I'm going to stick to my gut thoughts and I'm going to give it the same mark. I'm going to give it 87% and I really recommend that you try it if you, if you see it in the duty free. Um, and you're tempted to buy the original Black Label, go for this instead um, because it's not so out there that you're going to think it's disgusting. If you're already familiar with the Black Label taste and you enjoy it and you're comfortable with it, then this will be a really interesting addition um, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, so thanks for watching this review or well, comparison and um, I'm going to be moving on to some single malts next, finally. Um, I did a video reviewing Laphroaig cord cask, but I forgot to turn my microphone on, so I'm going to have to re-record that at some point. Um, so until then, goodbye.